Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to talk about our sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM creates premium, high quality apparel that focuses on self expression and unparalleled comfort. I have tried these shirts myself and they are super comfortable. They have cool designs and they really stand out over so many of my other tees. I really like the way they fit on my body and how soft they feel when I wear them. When I wore them around conventions, it was common for people to mention how vibrant and interesting the designs were. Into the AMS tees are made with ultra soft fabrics, eco-friendly inks, are pre-shrunk, and are made with a tailored fit. They support their products with a 30-day money-back guarantee, hassle-free returns, and lightning-fast shipping. Right now, Into the AM is having a huge Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. From November 18th through December 4th, they are taking 30% off everything site-wide. So check out my link in the description below and you'll get an additional 10% off on top of the 30% already. It is an amazing deal for great tees. A big thanks to Into the AM for sponsoring today's video. Our Mox Masters Tournament is back. On Saturday, December 3rd, we will be hosting another webcam CEDH tournament. It is 100% proxy friendly and played in the comfort of your own home. Top 16 gets $60, top 4 gets $200, and the winner gets $500. Spots fill up very quickly, so sign up now and reserve your spot. Link is in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Chad, Pounding Falco Spara, Pact Weaver. This deck seeks to win the game with either a Hermit Druid line or using its commander and Devoted Druid and Sensei's Divining Top. Chad's opening hand contains a Polluted Delta, Muddle the Mixture, Arcane Signet, Cyclonic Rift, Mystic Remora, Enlightened Tutor, and a Jiraga Tree Speaker. Next, we have Noah, Piloting Omnath, Locus of Creation. This is a mid-range deck that seeks to win the game through Underworld Breach or other common layered win cons. Noah's opening hand contains a Birds of Paradise, Winds of Rebuke, Dockside Extortionist, Ledger Shredder, Windswept Teeth, Gaius Cradle, and a Dryad Arbor. After that, we have Zack, Piloting Elsha of the Infinite. This deck seeks to win through its commander, a cost reducer, and Sensei's Divining Top before executing common breach lines. Zack's opening hand contains an Enlightened Tutor, Soul Ring, Muddle the Mixture, Felwar Stone, Scalding Tarn, Mystic Remora, and his London Mulligan is a Ponder. Finally, we have Jordan, Piloting Tatiova, Benthic Druid. This is an unconventional Tatiova list using land-based value engines, interaction, and eventually winning through combat. Jordan's opening hand contains a Jeweled Lotus, Island, Ghostly Flicker, Wave of Vitriol, Polluted Delta, Waterlog Grove, and his London Mulligan is a Snow-Covered Island. Without further ado, let's kick off this dangerous Danish Demented Demeanor. Chad solves the Rubik's Cube the fastest and gets to start us off. Chad draws a card for turn and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Mystic Remora. Chad passes. Noah draws a card for turn and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Birds of Paradise and ends his turn. Zack draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Soul Ring. Remora triggers and Chad draws. He casts a Felwar Stone and Chad draws from Remora again. Zack casts his own Mystic Remora. Chad's Remora triggers and he draws again. The table begs him to stop and Zack gives the turn to Jordan. Jordan draws and plays an Island. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. Both Remoras trigger and Zack and Chad draw. Jordan ships the turn to Chad. During his upkeep, Chad casts Enlightened Tutor. Remora triggers and Zack draws. Chad fetches up a Mana Crypt onto the top of his library. Also in his upkeep, Chad lets his Remora die. He draws and casts Mana Crypt. Remora triggers and Zack draws. He casts Arcane Signet and Zack draws from Remora again. He casts Chrome Mox. Remora triggers and Zack draws. Chrome Mox resolves and Chad imprints Cyclonic Rift. He casts Carpet of Flowers and, you guessed it, Zack draws from Remora. Chad moves to a second main phase and adds a green through his carpet. He casts a Hermit Druid. The table takes notice and Chad passes to Noah. Noah draws and casts a turn two, Dockside Extortionist. It enters and Noah creates eight treasures. He casts his commander, Omnath, Locus of Creation. It enters and Noah draws. Noah plays a Marsh Flats for turn. Omnath triggers and Noah gains four life. He cracks his Marsh Flats, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. Omnath triggers and Noah adds four mana. He casts Ledger Shredder. He casts a kid you not Mystic Remora. Remora triggers and Zack draws. With two fish back on the battlefield, Noah ends his turn. During his upkeep, Zack pays for his Remora. He draws and casts a gamble. Remora triggers and Noah draws. Zack fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Muddle the Mixture. Next, Zack casts his own Dockside Extortionist. Ledger Shredder triggers and Noah connives Chrome Mox, giving Shredder a counter. Dockside enters and with the trigger on the stack, Noah sacks his treasures and floats mana. Then Zack creates six treasures. Zack attempts to move through phases to force Noah to spend his mana. So in response, Noah casts Ephemerate, targeting his Dockside. 
Remora triggers and Zack draws. In response, Zack casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Dockside. Remora triggers and Noah draws again. In response, Noah casts Brainstorm. Ledger Shredder and Remora trigger, Zack draws, then Noah connives Mox Diamond, giving Shredder a counter. Then Brainstorm resolves and Noah draws three and puts two back on top. Still in response, Noah casts Muddle the Mixture, targeting Swords. Remora triggers and Zack draws. Muddle counters Swords and with Ephemerate still on the stack, Zack casts a Braid, targeting Dockside. Remora triggers and Noah draws. Dockside dies and Ephemerate finally fizzles. Zack moves to his second main phase and casts Snap, targeting his own Dockside. Remora triggers and Noah draws. Dockside bounces and Zack untaps two lands. He recasts Dockside Extortionist. It enters and Zack creates six treasures. He casts his commander, Elsha of the Infinite. He looks at the top of his library through Elsha, then passes the turn, discarding to hand size. Jordan draws and plays a Waterlog Grove. He taps his Waterlog Grove and sacks his Jeweled Lotus to help cast his commander, Tatiova, Benthic Druid. Jordan passes. At the end of Jordan's turn, Zack casts Resculpt off of the top of his library through Elsha, targeting Chad's Hermit Druid. Hermit Druid is exiled and Chad creates a 4-4 Elemental. The turn moves to Chad. During his upkeep, Chad loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and in his first main phase, he adds 2 green through his carpet. He casts Jiraga Tree Speaker. He pays 2 to level up Jiraga Tree Speaker as well. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with his Elemental. Zack takes it and Chad passes the turn. During his upkeep, Noah pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Command Tower. Omnath triggers and Noah gains 4 life. He moves to combat and attacks Jordan with Omnath. Jordan takes it and Noah ends his turn. During his upkeep, Zack pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a plateau onto the battlefield. He casts Smothering Tide. Remora triggers and Noah draws. The table sighs, Tithe resolves, and Zack passes the turn. At the end of Zack's turn, Noah channels Beseju, who endures, targeting Smothering Tithe. In response, Zack casts Lion's Eye Diamond from his library through Elsha. Ledger Shredder and Mystic Remora trigger. Noah intentionally ignores his Remora trigger to keep Zack off of treasures. Then Noah connives Dryad Arbor, Tithe triggers, and Zack creates a treasure. With Beseju still in the stack, Zack casts Enlightened Tutor. Noah continues to ignore his Remora triggers, and in response, Chad casts Miscast. Remora triggers, and Zack draws. In response, Zack casts Force of Will from his library through Elsha, paying a life and exiling a blue card. In response, Chad casts Dispel. Both Remoras and Shredder trigger, and Noah connives Grand Abolisher, giving Shredder a counter. Tide triggers, and Zack creates a treasure. Then Noah ignores Remora again, and then Zack draws from his own Remora. In response, Zack casts Mystical Tutor. He fetches up a Deflecting Swat onto the top of his library. Then Zack casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost from his library through Elsha. In response, Noah casts Flusterstorm, with four copies targeting Enlightened Tutor and the rest targeting Swat. With no other answers, the stack resolves. <sighs> Flusterstorm counters Swat and Enlightened Tutor, Dispel counters Force of Will, and then Miss casts Fizzles. Finally, Smothering Tithe is destroyed, and then Zack fetches up a Hallowed Fountain onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. The turn finally moves to Jordan. Jordan draws and casts a Mana Crypt. Remora's trigger and Zack and Noah draw. He plays a Polluted Delta for turn. Tatiova triggers, Jordan gains a life and draws a card. He cracks his Polluted Delta, pays a life and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. Tatiova triggers and Jordan gains a life and draws a card. Jordan ships the turn to Chad. During his upkeep, Chad wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and in his first main phase, he has three white through his carpet. He casts Esper Sentinel. In response, Jordan casts Worldly Tutor. Remora's trigger, Noah draws, and then Jordan taps his Waterlog Grove to help pay for Zack's. Then Tutor resolves, and Jordan fetches up a Lotus Cobra onto the top of his library. Then Esper Sentinel resolves. Next, Chad casts his commander, Falco Spar, Pact Weaver. Ledger Shredder triggers, and Noah connives Hallowed Fountain. Then Falco enters with a shield counter. Chad levels up Jiraga Tree Speaker, then moves to combat. He attacks Jordan with his Elemental. Jordan takes it, and Chad passes the turn. During his upkeep, Noah pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. Omnath triggers and Noah gains 4 life. He cracks his Bloodstained Mire, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. Omnath triggers and Noah adds 4 mana. He casts a Felwar Stone. Esper and Remora trigger, Noah pays for Esper, and Zack draws. Noah casts an Esper Sentinel of his own. Shredder triggers and Noah connives Red Elemental Blast, giving Shredder a counter. He moves to combat and attacks Jordan with Omnath and Chad with Ledger Shredder. Chad blocks Shredder with Falco and removes the shield counter. Jordan then takes the hit, and Noah passes to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Training Center. He casts Counterbalance. Both Espers and Remora trigger, Chad draws, and Noah draws too. Zack ships the turn to Jordan. During his upkeep, Jordan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Lotus Cobra. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack ignores it, stating he will let the table know when he wants to trigger it. Jordan plays a Prismatic Vista for turn. Lotus Cobra triggers and adds a green. Tatiova triggers and Jordan gains a life and draws a card. He cracks his Prismatic Vista and pays a life. In response, Noah flashes in an Archivist of Agma. 
Agma resolves, then Jordan fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. Tatioba and Archivist trigger, Noah draws and gains a life, then Jordan draws and gains a life. Culbert triggers and adds a blue. Jordan casts Ghostly Flicker, targeting two of his lands. Esper, Shredder, Esper, Remora, Remora, and Counterbalance all trigger. In response to Counterbalance, Zack casts Brainstorm. Esper, Esper, and Remora all trigger again. Chad draws and then Noah draws two. Then Brainstorm resolves and Zack draws three and puts two back on top. Then Counterbalance resolves and Zack reveals a Fabricate, countering Ghostly Flicker. Then Zack draws, Noah draws two, Noah connives Plateau, then Chad draws. Next, Jordan casts Solve the Equation. Remora and Remora trigger and Zack and Noah draw. Then Jordan fetches up a Fierce Guardianship into his hand. Then Noah's Archivist triggers and he draws a card and gains a life. Finished up, Jordan passes. During his upkeep, Chad wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and in his first main phase he has three white through his carpet. He plays a Rejuvenating Springs for turn. He casts a Ranger Captain of Eos. It enters and he fetches up a Micaeus the Lunar into his hand. Archivist triggers and Noah draws and gains a life. Chad casts Micaeus where X equals 4. Shredder triggers and Noah connives Gemstone Caverns. Chad moves to combat and attacks Noah with Falco Spara and his Elemental. Noah takes it and Chad gives the turn to Noah. During his upkeep, Noah lets his Remora die. Also in his upkeep, he pays 2 life to cast Noxious Revival targeting Flusterstorm in his graveyard. Remora and Esper trigger and Zack and Chad draw. In response, Chad pays 2 life to cast Mental Misstep targeting Revival. Esper and Remora trigger, Zack draws and Chad pays for Esper. In response, Noah pays 2 life to cast a Mental Misstep of his own targeting Chad's Misstep. Counterbalance and Remora triggers and in response, Zack casts Mana Crypt from his library through Elsha. Both Esper trigger and Chad and Noah draw. Still in response, Zack casts Jeweled Amulet through Elsha. Shredder triggers and Noah connives Ragavan Nimble Pilferer giving Shredder a counter. Then Zack draws from Remora and with Counterbalance still on the stack, Zack casts Ristic Study from his library through Elsha. With nothing else, Zack ignores his Counterbalance, then Misstep counters Misstep and then Noxious Revival resolves. Noah puts Flusterstorm onto the top of his library. Noah draws and plays a Polluted Delta. Omnath triggers and Noah gains 4 life. He cracks his delta, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents onto the battlefield untapped, paying 2 life. Omnath triggers and Noah adds 4 mana. Noah channels Ottawara, Soaring City, Bouncing Counterbalance back to Zack's hand. Noah casts Silence. Mystic and Ristic triggers, Noah pays for Ristic, and Zack draws from Remora. In response, Jordan casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Silence. Esper, Esper, Remora, and Ristic all trigger, and they all draw. Then Fierce counters Silence. Next, Noah casts Underworld Breach. Ristic and Mystic trigger and Zack draws too. In response to Breach, Chad sacks his Ranger Captain of Eos, locking out opponents from non-creature spells this turn. Then Underworld Breach resolves. Noah escapes Dockside Extortionist. Ristic triggers and Zack draws. In response, Chad casts Mindbreak Trap for its alternate cost. Mystic and Ristic trigger and Zack draws too. Then Trap exiles Dockside. With nothing else and his plans thwarted, Noah passes, sacrificing Underworld Breach. At the end of Noah's turn, Zack activates Jeweled Amulet, putting a charge counter onto it. Then Noah discards to hand size. During his upkeep, Zack's Mana Crypt and Mystic Remora trigger goes onto the stack. In response, Zack has Chain of Vapor targeting his Dockside. Both Esper's trigger and Zack pays for both. In response, Chad casts Muddle the Mixture. Esper, Remora, and Ristic all trigger. Zack holds priority and casts Mox Diamond from his library through Elsha. Shredder triggers and Noah connives Lotus Petal, giving Shredder a counter. Then Diamond resolves and Zack discards a Windswept Heath. Then Zack and Noah draw through Esper and Remora, and with Muddle still on the stack, Zack casts Miscast, countering Muddle the Mixture. Then Chain of Vapor resolves, bouncing Dockside to his hand. Zack sacks a land, copying the chain, bouncing Mana Crypt to his hand. He sacks a land, bouncing Mystic Remora to his hand, deciding to stop there. Then Zack doesn't pay for Remora, since it's now in his hand, and then he wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Mystic Remora again. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Dockside Extortionist, creating 8 treasures. He casts Ephemerate, targeting his Dockside. In response, Noah casts Flusterstorm, with all copies targeting Ephemerate. Ristic, Remora, and Esper go onto the stack. Zack holds priority and casts Talisman of Creativity through Elsha. Then Chad and Zack draw, and then Noah pays for Ristic. Then Ephemerate is countered. Next, Zack casts Bergy, God of Storytelling. He plays a City of Traders for turn. He casts Reshape, where X equals 2, sacrificing Jeweled Amulet as an additional cost. Bergy triggers, and Zack adds a red. He fetches up a Helm of Awakening onto the battlefield. Archivist triggers, and Noah gains a life and draws a card. Zack casts Azorius Signet, Izzet Signet, and Grinding Station, adding a red through Bergy each time. He casts Spellseeker, adding a red. It enters and he fetches up a Silence into his hand. Archivist triggers and Noah gains a life and draws a card. Zack casts Silence, adding a red through Bergy. It resolves, locking out his opponents this turn. Zack casts Sensei's Divining Top. He casts Brain Freeze with all copies targeting Chad. Chad mills nearly his entire library except the last four cards but chooses to reveal to Zack both Memory's Journey and turn the Earth into his graveyard. 
So now Zack needs to reevaluate his mill plan. So Zack presents a loop of activating top, drawing a card, putting top on top, then casting it for free through Elsha. He increases his storm count and begins to draw through his deck. He casts Lotus Petal, Grim Monolith, Mana Vault, and Mox Opal through Elsha using this loop. He eventually finds and casts Underworld Breach. He escapes Brain Freeze, milling out each of his opponents with his high storm counts. Zack casts Wheel of Fortune. Since his opponents have an empty library and Zack doesn't, they attempt to draw, lose, and Zack wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match. Congrats to Zack on his win. CDH frequently interacts on the stack, but Elsha is in a class all by itself. Zack piloted his deck with expertise. Everyone fed the fish back and forth, and this really benefited Zack overall. He was able to interact at the perfect moments and really push through to victory. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.